Our goal is to set up an approval process for travel plans of the team. We first create a new approval flow and we name it. We then create three tags the system will use to track the status of the documents. You could use a single approval tag for multiple flows to keep things simple. Or, as I do here, create separate tags if you want to execute additional actions on those documents. You could, for example, convert the file into a PDF when it is approved or post a message in a chat room when there is a request. You can easily configure such things in Nextcloud Flow. Now we choose who can approve documents in this flow. Let's just pick administrators. In a company, you might of course choose a group of managers, for example. You can also assign one or more individuals the ability to approve documents. Now we have set up the flow. Let's see what it looks like from a user's perspective. We create a travel request using the travel request template, and then we fill in the document. Next, we open the sidebar and click the Request Approval button. Now, just choose the approval flow we just created and request the approval. That is all. Anyone in the administrator group can now see this document as it was automatically shared with them. We also get a notification. So I can go in, review the document and approve. Or deny, of course. I could also comment on the file requesting additional changes before I approve. So you see that you can now integrate your organizational processes very nicely into Nextcloud. This will make it much easier to work together for teams and large organizations. Getting a PDF signed. This can be used to request a signature on a work contract or an offer you send to a customer. The crypto signatures generated by the three solutions we integrated act as a guarantee that documents were signed as is and have not been tampered with. Many jurisdictions will accept these as formal, legally enforceable digital signatures. DocuSign is well known, so let me show you that first. We will assume our customer Virilium has to sign off on our requirements document. You simply click the three dot menu and request a signature. Type the email address of the person who has to sign. There can be multiple people, and if an internal counter signature is needed, you can also use an Nextcloud username. Then, request a signature. The recipients will all receive an email, asking them to sign. Let me show what that looks like with the second platform we integrated, EID Easy. Just click the button in the email to get started. With EID Easy, you can choose among a variety of internationally recognized signatures. You sign and get your own copy. A unique feature EID offers is the ability to not actually upload the document to the server, but merely a hash that describes the document. This way, you can sign documents without their actual contents leaking to a third-party server.